welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title of today's video, we are doing a January favorites. So I'm gonna quickly fly through the beauty. There's a couple of TV shows I wanna talk about as well, and there's also a piece of technology. So, first up, let's knock beauty out of the park. I've been loving the Benefit Professional Primer. I've been using this now almost all of, well I used it for all of 2019. It's pretty much been my exclusive primer, and I'm not mad at it, it's becoming my favorite thing and it's so good it minimizes your pores i know some people say they break out from it but i've had great luck with it and i'm just going to continue to use it until something goes terribly wrong let's hope nothing goes terribly wrong we'll see what happens next was a gift i got on my secret santa and this is becca cosmetics it is a blush in the shade fox what is it fox love fox glove fox glove and i love it it's it's just beautiful i have it on my cheeks today it's a gift from KT Lifestyle and I'm super grateful for it and I use it all of the time. Next up is a foundation. I love MAC Studio Fix Fluid, but if I want a super full coverage thing, I'm going for the Smashbox Studio Fix full coverage 24 hour foundation. It comes in a squeezy tube, less is more. I'm shade number one. Y'all pasty white girl is here, y'all. We're here. This is also a gift I got from Miss KT Lifestyle. She gave me a three pack of the Fenty Metallic Lipsticks. This one is my favorite. It's the shade Cuffing Season. I have it on my lips. It's like a metallic pink. And I just, I love it. It has such great durability and lasting power. And you can't feel the metallic like chunks of glitter on your lips, which is so nice because there's nothing more annoying, believe me. Up next, we have a Benefit Gimme Brow. I like this in the shade Free. I've been using it for years. Benefit has become like my brow game of choice. Love it. Can't live without it. It's one of my favorite things. Then we have a mascara. I've been Too Faced Better Than Sex or Benefit Their Real Girl for a long time. And then I received the Marc Jacobs uh, Velvet Noir Mascara and Primer in an influencer box. And I friggin' love it, y'all. It's so good. It's super voluminous. The primer really gives it a serious like lift. And there's no flaking, no transfer, no raccoon eyes. 10 out of 10 recommend. Then we have an oldie but a goodie. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This stuff keeps your makeup in place for hours. Enough said. 10 out of 10 recommend. And then finally, we have a leave-in conditioner. This is the Briogeo Farewell Frizz Leave-In Conditioner. I love this stuff. I use it all the time. It keeps my hair feeling super soft, super moisturized, and it's just a lot less damage. So if you haven't tried it, you should. I know it's a bit expensive, but it works. And then that brings me into my podcast favorites for the month, Unsolicited Advice with Ashley Nicole and Taryn Renee, has quickly become my favorite podcast. It's outdone Pretty Basic, The Fearless Podcast, The Business of Life. It's like, I don't know, it's just so refreshing to have like a laugh with Taryn's dad jokes and like, I don't know, the advice is always good. They're, they just try really hard and I'm like, I don't know, I love it. I'm here for it. It is my thing. Um, and then we have TV shows. You, season two. Oh my God, it came out on Boxing Day and I don't like scary things, guys, but I watched it. I was scared. It was one of those things where I just kept covering my eyes, didn't want to know what happened, and then it ended and I was like, for like two days. So if you haven't watched You, season two, just know it's a little dark, but there's a reason why everyone's talking about it and you should check it out. I mean, season one was really scary. I don't like scary things but I still got on board. <laughs> Another thing I've been enjoying on Netflix is Alexa and Katie. That came out December 30th, I think. It's only an eight episode launch for season three, but it's about a girl who had cancer and her best friend. And it's like just a sitcom, like super lighthearted, really fun thing. And you should totally watch it. If you just need a laugh, like once you watch you and you're all depressed and scared and like pretty much suicidal, hop on over to Alexa and Katie and they will make you feel so much better about life. Um, and then of course there's good old Disney Plus. Lizzie McGuire, the reboot's coming out soon, which I'm so excited for. And over Christmas break, I binged the entire Lizzie McGuire, like original series. 65 episodes, I watched them in three days. 10 out of 10 recommend just sitting there and binging your favorite childhood shows. If you guys remember like the Gargoyles animation from like the early 90s, 
that was like mine and my brother's thing as kids. So you should totally like go relive some of your best bits. That's all I have to say. Like it's it's just so refreshing and Disney Plus has been slaying it. And then finally, the only other thing I want to talk about is the Amazon Alexa. I picked up an Alexa Echo Dot on Christmas Eve, actually, they were on sale for $24.99, and I'm slowly going to start outfitting the house with Wi-Fi plugs because little things like, can you read me a recipe or tell me the weather? Hey Alexa, what's the weather like? Right now in St. John's, it's minus one degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Today's forecast has snow flurries with a high of minus one degrees and a low of minus four degrees or like whatever, like when your hands are full. I was coming in today, I had like packages and stuff. I filmed, filmed like a haul and everything today and my hands were full and I know I had to go out later today and I wanted to know when the snow started and I literally just asked her and she told me. It was like one less little thing I had to do. Or my favorite feature about it, people are like, ugh, you're so lazy, but no I'm not. I was, like I have all my recipes on my phone so if you pull it up, you can ask her to read you the recipe. So like if your hands are in the middle of kneading bread or whatever and you need the next step and you can't remember, just say her name and next step and she'll just read it to you and wait for you to ask for it again. So it's really good for like baking or if you're dealing with raw meat and you need the next step in like the seasoning process or whatever. So I 10 out of 10 recommend that. And the other thing I've been loving this month is my air fryer. I cannot believe it took me this long to get on the air fryer train. Shout out to Shauna Minnie for making me do it, so thank you. And um, and that's it for my monthly favorites. So, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Tell me down below what you've been loving this month. Did you get anything for Christmas that just makes you like love doing something? Or did you get an appliance or um, a smart home speaker. Like my parents have the Google Home and I went with the Alexa because I have the Amazon Fire Stick and I'm slowly gonna just keep getting stuff on Amazon, like the Wi-Fi plugs for the Christmas tree or like for, um, probably for the TV, you can get like a pack of four for 50 bucks. And then I might even switch to smart lights. Like we're slowly gonna, we're gonna do this. By January 2021, we gonna have a smart home. Um, and that's it for me guys. So thank you for watching. I love you. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications, leave me a comment down below and I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.